Hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about uh, back angles. Um, I was asked by a subscriber to make a video on back angles, so here it is. So back angles refer to section altitudes, uh, which are greater than 90 degrees. So I'll show you, I'll just explain what are back angles and uh, how to calculate a back angle uh, section altitude. All right, so what are back angles of a sextant? Uh, when the horizon nearest to the observer is not visible due to fog, mist, smoke or any other obstructions such as an island or it could be um, some other reason. Uh, if you cannot view the horizon which is closest to you, which is nearest to you, which you normally, which, which you would have normally used for measuring the sextant altitude of a celestial body, then it is uh, possible to measure the altitude of a celestial body to the opposite side of the horizon. All right, so you use the horizon which is opposite to you. In such cases, the altitude thus measured become greater than 90 degree and it is called a back angle. So this is a sextant altitude which value is greater than 90 degrees. That is called a back angle. When can you observe a back angle? Well, observing the back angle is possible only when the celestial body is fairly close to the observer's zenith. As the sextant cannot measure angles greater than 120 degrees. Alright, so the celestial body has to be very close to the observer's zenith. Uh, what is observer's zenith? That is uh, the your position uh, uh, as on the Earth's surface when it is projected onto the celestial sphere. That is called uh, the observer's zenith. Uh, how do you correct a back angle observation? So to correct a back angle observation, corrections of index error, dip, which is height of i, and semi diameter, if it's a sun or moon, are applied initially. The angle so obtained is then subtracted from 180 degrees. Refraction and parallax for the angle so obtained are then applied to it. All corrections are applied with the normal signs as for an observation to the near horizon. So there is nothing different about that except that uh, you will be applying the corrections of index error, dip and semi diameter first, then you subtract it from 180 and then you apply the corrections of refraction and parallax. So I'll show that to you as an example here. All right, And then I'll also tell you uh, what is different today. So example. Uh, is uh, that the sextant altitude of the sun's upper limb was 116 degrees 52.5 so you can see this is greater than 90 degrees so you know this is a back angle index error was 2.5 minutes of the arc height of i was 6.2 meters and a semi diameter of 16.2 meters 16.2 uh, minutes sorry has been observed for the sun's upper limb all right what you have to do is find the true altitude of the sun so I'm sure if you've seen my other videos, you know where to get the value of height of i and all that from. So this is not about that. This is about more about how do you correct a um, section altitude of a back angle. All right. So let's start. So we have the section altitude as 11652.5 given to us. Then the index error is 2.5 off the arc. So we know if it's off the arc, you will add the index error. So you first add the index error. And if it was on the arc, you would have subtracted it. Then you get observed altitude. Once you get observed altitude, apply your height of i correction. So your height of i is 6.2 meters. You can go into the deep correction tables in the nautical almanac and get your height of i correction from there. It's minus 4.4. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I can just show it to you quickly. I hope uh, I've got the nautical almanac open right in front of me. Here you are. So for 6.2 of height of i, it's somewhere here. All right, so 6.2 will be somewhere here. You can see here. So say, sorry, not here. That is between six. So I'll use the red pen here. So it will be between six point one and six point three. Six point two is here. No interpolation required. Your height of eye correction is minus four point four. That's how I get the height of eye correction. All right. Once you get your height of eye correction, you apply it. It's always negative, and then you get one one six degrees fifty point six. Once you apply your height of correction, then you apply your semi diameter correction given to you in the question is minus six is sixteen point two. Whenever it is upper limb, the corrections are always negative. If it's lower limb, the corrections are always positive. So in this case, it was sun's upper limb. So you will subtract the upper limb semi diameter correction. Once you apply the correction, you get 11634.4. It is here that you then subtract it from 180 degrees. All right. 
this at this stage here you subtract, subtract it from 180 degrees of course you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number what you will get is 63 degrees 25.6 minutes once you do that and then you apply your parallax and your refraction correction so this parallax and refraction correction here these correction this correction this correction here you must be wondering where i got these corrections from if it's not given in the question well these corrections are given in the norris tables so if you go into the norris tables you get these corrections but you know these are the olden days i'll tell you what we do in the recent days here now uh, and that will make it much clearer to you so anyway if you go into the norris tables you can find the pages you can find the parallax correction and refraction correction from the norris tables just go and look it up in the contents page you will see where the parallax and refraction corrections are and uh, it is also for a sextant altitude and then you can apply those corrections once you subtract the altitude from 180 all right so those are the corrections that you apply after subtracting from 180 and you get your true altitude well this is the olden um, way of doing or rather one of the ways of doing when you apply individual corrections now these days uh, you don't apply individual corrections as semi diameter parallax and refraction so the corrections of semi diameter parallax and refraction are now classified under one correction which you can get from the nautical almanac this is called the total correction all right so what you can do is the new way of doing it is that you apply your index error and dip and then you subtract the back angle from 180 and then you can apply your total correction and then uh, get your true altitude that is the new way um, and the semi diameter parallax and refraction correction are all now classified under total correction and this total correction you get from the nautical almanac all right i'll show you where you get it but in this question i could not apply the total correction because i need the month uh, during which the site was taken i'll tell you why let's go into the nautical almanac here if you go into the nautical almanac this page here itself here the same page where you got your height of i and your uh, height of i correction you can see that the total correction for sun is given under this column here and this is the lower limb correction this is the upper limb corrections but depends on the month all right so if it's between april to september these are the this is the column and if it's between october to march this is the column all right so and then of course if it's a lower limb it's positive corrections if it's upper limb is negative correction so that is why i could not use the total correction method for that question there but to explain things to you uh, of course uh, uh, previously this is how it was done where individual corrections were applied and that's why i wanted to show you this uh, but the modern way is that uh, you could uh, apply the index error correction and dip correction and then somewhere at this stage here itself once you apply this uh, index error and dip correction this stage here you subtract it from 180 if you want to and then once you get the result you then apply the total correction and then you can get your true altitude all right so both ways are correct of course the, uh, there is nothing incorrect about this way as well uh, and of course to apply total correction you need to know the month uh, during which the site was taken um, all right and uh, um, both ways are correct uh, it's just that in all these tables you have to go and find the individual corrections whereas these days all these corrections are classic or not these days rather but uh, these corrections are all combined into a total correction as well so both ways are correct don't get confused depends on the question all right if it gives you the month uh, of the uh, site that during which site was taken uh, apply total correction if it doesn't then apply the individual corrections and like i said you can get the individual correction values from the norris tables all right so hope this video was helpful uh, it was jeremy perkins who asked me for uh, a video on uh, the back angle of a sextant and i thought i'll make this uh, short video if you have any questions please write uh, in my comments and again i thank my subscribers and all the people who watch my videos and provide me with comments and feedback really appreciate it i'll catch you soon with another video bye